TipExcav tutorial video How to include surcharges on walls This tutorial video presents how we can include several surcharges on the walls In order to start this presentation we go to the general tab of TipExcav and we choose to use English units Next we go to the model tab and we choose to add the second wall to the model. We can include surcharges in the load support tab of DeepXCAV. First of all we will include a distributed surcharge on the left wall. We click on this button on the toolbar and then we click on two points on the wall. In the dialog that appears, we can modify the distributed load properties. We can change the coordinates on the wall and we can change the surcharge magnitude. We choose for the second point to use a magnitude of 0.5. Here we can see the surcharge. Next, we will include the prescribed condition on the wall. We press the relative button on the toolbar and we click on the wall. In the dialog that appears we choose to add a displacement of 1 inch and we press OK. Now we will add point loadings. We click to add the point load and we click on the wall. In this dialog we can change the point load coordinates and the load magnitude. In order to add a point load in the vertical direction we press the same button, we click on the wall and we change the PZ magnitude to 1 kilo point per feet. Now the load is on z-direction. In order to apply this load on the wall we have to go to the design tab of TipExcav. Here we click on the option to include axle load on the walls. We press yes and now this loading will be applied in the calculations. Once again we will go to the load supports and we choose to add the moment load. We click on the wall and this way we can add a point moment. Thank you for watching this video. Visit our webpage in order to download a free trial version of our software program and please feel free to contact us.